Robin Hood Retold by Liz Austin Chapter 2 The Sheriff of Nottingham Finds Robin Hood Robin's grandfather died, then his mother and father. After 25 years, Robin was lord of Gumwell and Luxley and lived in his father's home, Luxley House. The village people liked Robin Fitzhugh. He is a good man, they said. No man, woman or child is hungry on Robin of Locksley's lands. Not all lords were so kind. The worst person was the greedy sheriff of Nottingham. The sheriff took everything from the villagers. And often their poor people were very hungry. Robin listened carefully to the stories about the sheriff. He sent food and clothes to the poorest families. At about this time, people began to tell stories about a robber. They called him Robin Hood. The sheriff is a hard man, they said. He and his rich friends take everything from us. But now brave Robin Hood and his men rob rich people and give their money to poor villagers. In those days, the Great North Road went through Sherwood Forest. Robin Hood's men often stopped rich men in the forest and took their money. Sometimes Prince John's men also used the road, so Robin Hood robbed him too. The forest is on your land, said Prince John to the sheriff. Why don't you catch and kill this robber? It is not so easy, answered the sheriff. The village people don't want to tell me much. They say only that the robber lives in um, or near Sherwood Forest, but they know more than they say. I have a plan to learn more about this man, Robin Hood. What is your plan? asked the prince. It is this, answered the sheriff. Robin of Loxley lives near Sherwood Forest. Tonight there is going to be a great party at Loxley House. I know that Fiduth will invite the village people on his land. So I will send one of my men. He can wear village clothes and ask questions about good Robin Hood, the people's friend. When I know more about this Robin, I can catch him. That evening there were a lot of people at Loxley House. There was food and drink for the villagers, and there was dancing and singing. Everybody was very happy, and Robin was the happiest person there, because he and the lovely Lady Marian Fitzmold planned to marry the next day. The sheriff's man turned to a villager next to him. I often hear the name Robin Hood, he said. Who is he? Does he live near here? The man laughed. Don't you know, friend? Robin Fitzhugh, it's Robin Hood. The sheriff's man quickly left the Loxley house and went to his lord. This is better than I hoped, said the sheriff. Tomorrow, Robin Fitzhugh will, will marry Lady Marian and at St. Mary's Abbey. But my man will stop him and bring him to me. Prince John will kill him and give me fits of money and lands. Lady Marian's family is also rich. She will not marry Robin. So perhaps I will marry her. Yes, tomorrow will be a great day for me.